AI. You either love it or you hate it. But while the debate over this technology rages on, it's making some genuinely impressive strides in one unexpected field, medical science. What if AI could predict that you'll contract a chronic disease, allowing it to be detected and treated earlier? It might sound like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but the truth is that advances in predictive analytics are making it a reality. It's impossible to tell at age 20 when everyone is, everything is fine and dandy and you're young uh, to know what's going to happen in your 40s and your 50s. As the name suggests, data from digital health records is used to predict whether a patient is predisposed to certain conditions. Add in genetic and lifestyle information, as well as data taken from wearables, and the patient's overall health picture becomes much clearer. Basically, think Minority reports, but with fewer people getting shot by Tom Cruise. This could feasibly be applied in any number of cases. Doctors might know that a patient is prone to migraines because of their family history, or they could accurately identify whether a pregnant woman is at risk of preeclampsia. AI could also assess huge amounts of data to pinpoint patients likely to suffer complications after surgery, thus reducing hospital readmissions. In the future, it could even help reduce the risk of rejection among organ donors. Sadly though, all this comes with a few catches. For one thing, AI-backed predictive analytics relies on broad access to our most personal data. Most people also have no idea how deep learning systems work. They don't know how much information they need and what to do with it. Algorithmic bias poses another problem, as many AI programs view race as a biological concept rather than a social one. That said, various healthcare bodies are working to end that practice in an attempt to make predictive analytics more beneficial for everyone. Medical imaging might be one of the most important uses of AI in healthcare today, and although it's still in the early phases, the impact of this tech has been nothing less than revolutionary. We have an AI model now that can incidentally say, hey, you've got a lot of coronary artery calcium, and you're at high risk for a heart attack or a stroke in five or 10 years. Across various experiments, AI has identified more breast cancers than human clinicians, outperformed dermatologists in skin cancer detection, and successfully read electrocardiograms to spot anomalies. Increasingly sensitive AI tech applied to x-rays, MRIs, and CT scans has the potential to support busy doctors and speed up diagnoses without costing a fortune. Still, while the benefits of all this may seem obvious, there are concerns about relying on AI for such important decision making. Some technologies have a pretty low accuracy rate, and not every clinician works well with AI. In a study led by Harvard Medical School and published in Nature Medicine, researchers found that low-scoring radiologists didn't consistently improve with AI support, potentially affecting diagnoses. For overworked medics, however, AI diagnostic tools could be revolutionary. In 2025, a survey by the UK's Medical Defense Union revealed that 69% of doctors suffered from what the report called extreme tiredness. Support for more sophisticated AI tech could enhance diagnostics and help doctors care for patients, just so long as it's strictly regulated. So human beings have used robot technology for longer than you might think. For example, the first brain biopsy operation conducted with a surgical robot took place all the way back in 1985. Since then, this tech has become so advanced that surgeons are able to manipulate robots with total accuracy from thousands of miles away. And AI plays an important role in ensuring that these complex surgeries are successful. AI can ensure that surgical implants are accurately positioned, create 3D models of preoperative CT scans, and merge CT and MRI data to boost the accuracy of a robot or surgeon's movements. In 2024, a surgeon in Germany used AI-enhanced goggles to visualize a tumor in its entirety as part of his preparation process, enabling him to see important blood vessels before an incision was made. I have to honestly say that I was quite satisfied. You could see the structures and where they were, and that was a great help. AI is also proving useful outside the operating theater. In 2025, an Annals of Surgery study used this technology to scan patient selfies in order to assess whether their surgical incisions might be infected. Meanwhile, AI is being utilized more and more in medical education and training, most notably to provide virtual and augmented reality bodies rather than real human cadavers. Still, as ever, the medical community has some concerns about the use of AI tech. For example, nobody's been able to provide any clear answers about who would be accountable for a mechanical error during surgery. We're gonna need to unstick ethical and legal problems like this if we wanna rely on AI-powered surgery in the future. In the US, it takes around 11 to 15 years to qualify as a doctor. In the years after that, clinicians accumulate a vast amount of knowledge and insight, which they'll rely on regularly to diagnose and treat patients. Traditionally, if they need another pair of eyes on a case, they turn to a colleague. But leaps in technology mean that AI is increasingly able to offer an informed second opinion. 
It's one thing to use the internet to Google a symptom, but trusting AI to back a qualified doctor's diagnosis is another. Yet this could solve a serious problem. A 2024 study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that of 2,428 diagnoses, 17% contained diagnostic errors that resulted in temporary or permanent harm to patients. For some illnesses, such as cancer, using AI to interpret the results of complex nuclear scans could be game-changing and might lead to a decrease in the number of missed or delayed diagnoses. Still, while there is clear potential for AI to support doctors in their decision-making, it can also hamper the process. During a trial that took place at three UK stroke centers, AI was employed in the hopes of accelerating diagnoses. Instead, the programs introduced additional verification practices that, in the words of one report, could paradoxically slow the diagnostic process. Perhaps even more worrying than that, you've got the question of authority. But simply, could we be facing a future in which AI developers hold more clout than doctors? When an ambulance crew responds to an accident, every second counts, and information gathered at the front line often impacts what takes place in the emergency room. While EMS vehicles carry an array of life-saving technology, AI is now helping get crews to their patients faster than ever. Combining AI with traffic monitoring and GPS systems enables dispatchers to get crews to locations efficiently and safely. Many bigger towns and cities also have smart Internet of Things systems that connect with ambulances, enabling them to effectively clear a path to their destination. AI has proved to be groundbreaking for paramedic training, too, enabling teams to learn about complex injuries and treatments outside of high-pressure real-life scenarios. You'll see the yellow dots coming into view. It just gives us a better idea of what we're looking at. Of course, there are risks when it comes to increasing the role of AI in frontline healthcare. Hospitals could become targets for hackers, for example. To many, though, this doesn't offset the potential in this technology. In one instance, researchers at Sweden's Chalmers University of Technology found that AI models outperform their human counterparts in assessing the level of injuries in patients. In a study published by BMC Medical Informatics and Decision Making, one of the university's researchers said, our hope is that a more objective decision support system will be able to function as an extra colleague that makes staff see more complex connections and think twice in cases where injuries can be difficult to perceive or assess. In 2003, scientists completed the mammoth task of mapping the human genome. It's probably the most significant organized scientific adventure that humankind has ever been on. Ever since, researchers have been using these insights to further the field of personalized medicine. Forget simply knowing about your family history and which lifestyle choices could impact your health. This is healthcare at the genetic level, and artificial intelligence could help make it more targeted than ever. Doctors who know the genetic predispositions of their patients can tailor treatments so they're more accurate and effective, with few or even no side effects. Sadly though, current medicine is still some way from that goal, as IBM Watson's Genomic Initiative demonstrated. This program set out to identify personalized treatment for patients, but failed. According to tech consultant Henrico Dolphin, this was due to poor data quality, inadequate clinical validation, and unrealistic timelines. Another clinical area in which genetics have proved helpful is maternity screening, where parents can be helped to prepare for inherited conditions in their children. AI is being used to spot any subtle changes or chromosomal abnormalities in fetuses before birth, allowing doctors to put in place specific care plans and personalized treatments. Of course, some might argue that it's strange or even disturbing for generations of babies to be genetically profiled before birth. Ethical implications aside, though, there's at least some benefit in being able to create and match medication to a child's DNA. Millions of businesses use chatbots to interact with their customers, and the healthcare industry is no different. Virtual assistants ask simple questions and use replies to suggest solutions, from drinking more water to seeking emergency care. Of course, there have been multiple instances in which chatbot interactions have gone badly awry. The GPT's job is to convince you that it's right, and it, that's what it'll do. So you should be careful. Yet AI-backed virtual health assistants don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Nurses are responsible for a lot of patient support, including answering questions about doctors or treatments or sending information to clinicians. And virtual nursing assistants, which have been trained on vast amounts of medical data, are already helping lift this burden. While some may feel uneasy about sharing personal health information with a bot rather than a human, a report published by Cineos Health Communications suggested that most patients have no real problem with it. Meanwhile, AI-backed virtual nursing assistants are becoming more sophisticated than ever, providing personalized, human-like responses that are designed to put people at ease. 
For patients and nurses, this is a real win since it allows them to focus their human contact on where it's needed most during treatment. Being able to access information about treatments or symptoms at any time provides real-time informed patient support and leaves real nurses free to focus on bigger issues. From the moment we're born, medical staff record information that tells them everything about us, and this provides a workload all of its own. Clinicians spend almost as much time on patients' electronic health records as they do on physical care, but that's changing thanks to digital technology and artificial intelligence. Note-taking is a labor-intensive yet vital part of healthcare, and growing numbers of companies have developed AI-based solutions to automate it. As well as freeing up a lot of doctors' time, these digital systems can also keep better track of patient data and make it easier to share information between clinicians. Still, while giving doctors more time for patients has to be a good thing, relying on AI so heavily has created some cause for concern. In 2024, OpenAI's transcription tool Whisper was reported as suffering so-called hallucinations, essentially making up comments. If a hallucination happens or a mistranscription occurs in someone's file, it could have catastrophic implications for their care. Even worse, many people might not even be aware that their doctor is using AI to take notes. In order for doctors and patients to see the benefits of AI, then, it's clear that it'll need to be employed with the right level of transparency and reliable, robust systems.